Last week, you cast your votes for the name of this stellar show. Now, without further ado, the Mystery Hour Radio presents The Detectives of Spruce Grove. Brought to you by our sponsor, Sapwood Cigarettes. Sapwood Cigarettes invites you and your family to sit down for a crime adventure that is as exciting and as thrilling as a puff from a Sapwood Cigarette. Sapwood Cigarettes, the cigarette of the American family. Now for today's episode, The Cat's Meow. Your detectives, this is a crime you absolutely have to find. Look, we're plenty busy here. I get it, she's missing and you love her, but there's nothing that we can do. You know, honey, there's a lot of times where I could have said there was nothing I could do. And in the future, my hands just might be tied, detective. Remember that. Listen up, I'm not in a good mood and I have a tough case. A missing persons case, to be exact. How long have they been missing? This sure is a change of pace. Is this some sort of big shot? What if we find her and she's forever in our day? Oh, I can do it. I can do it. Enough of all that. She's a five-year-old girl, a family friend, to be exact. She's been missing for about three days. We have no leads, no fourth century, no blood, no snacks, no prints, no nothing. She basically vanished into thin air. I need people on posted duty, somebody asking around the neighborhood, questioning suspects and witnesses, along with someone filing out paperwork. I need this whole thing done perfectly. This is a life here. I wonder why Hughes is all worked up. Her secret daughter? Hughes has a daughter? Yeah, she's a secret, don't you know? I'll help. I'll help find your daughter. I'm the perfect person. Top of my class in poster making, in fact. (laughs) Did she just giggle? It was cute. Please don't tell me. (laughs) Did you just call the head cute? Maybe. Please, for the love of all things covered with pineapple, never, never call me cute again. And no, I did not giggle. That was from behind me. Everyone, meet Miss Sarah Hughes. The famous lounge singer? Now, Brooks, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't ever have you two help Sarah. Good. So we're on the same page. No, we are not. It's a case. We're detectives. How could we not take the case, especially for Sarah Hughes? (laughs) Oh, honey, please call me sugar. Everyone does. Brooks, she, she told me to call her sugar. Brookie, why didn't you tell me your new partner was the absolute bee's knees? He's the cutest thing I've seen in ages. What's your name, honey? Sarah, it's Detective Brooks, not Brookie. And his name is Jeffrey Montgomery. And we're leaving. Oh, honey, don't be a potty pooper. You used to let me call you Brookie back when I was a kid. And you know, Debbie thought it was the sweetest thing. I'm not taking this case. Look, Brooks, we'll talk about it later, but Sugar needs your help. She even asked my name. Yeah, Brooks, we have to help her. Yeah, Brookie, I need help. Who are we finding again? Miss Cheyenne Hughes, Sugar's pet cat. Cat? Hughes, we need to talk. Why are we taking this case? You know I can't stand Sarah. And you know Joe is an easy target for someone like her. Look, Brooks, like I said, normally I would never make you do anything like this with Sugar in your history. I would let you guys be as far away as possible. But she threatened to not help us anymore, and you know that we need her help, especially with that lead Is last she a part week. of this? I'm not sure. So, Joey, want me to tell you about the case and what you'll be doing? Sure, Miss Sugar. <laughs> well, honey, as you know, I'm a performer. I sing in the Sapwood Lounge, usually five nights a week, and I'm home almost all the time before and after that unless I get a call. And my sweet Cheyenne, she's a redhead honey cute as can be. She's with me as long as I'm home. She hates most people, the little spitfire. She sounds great, Miss Sugar. Do you know anywhere she goes often? Is there anyone who'd want to take her? Well, Cheyenne is a little mischievous. She does know how to get to the lounge since I live next door. She has a fan club. She's a bright red Maine Coon. She likes high places. And not to toot my own horn, but I also have my own fan club. 
Detective Hughes said you guys will follow me around for a day or so to see if you see anything suspicious. Sounds like a date, right, honey? That sounds like an exciting life. Hey, why do they call you sugar? Oh, simple, silly. Because I'm so sweet that everyone wants a piece of me. <laughs> Miss Sugar, if you sing half as well as you talk, then you're going to be a superstar in no time. <laughs> So, Miss Sugar, how well do you know Brooks? I've heard you talk about him like you used to know each other. I'm still getting to know him, but he doesn't talk much about his life. How do you fit into it? Oh, honey, me, him, and Debbie go way back. Brookie used to be my babysitter. Debbie? Babysitter? Brookie changed my diapers, had tea parties with me. We go way back. And Miss Debbie? Oh, she's a wild one. I was surprised when her and old Brookie went and got hitched. I'm surprised you don't know how everyone here goes way back. You don't just become a detective by accident. You must have so many good stories. You should tell me more about Brooks growing up. No, Sarah, you shouldn't. Come on, Joe. All right, I'm coming. I'll see you later, sweet thing. I'll have to find time later to tell you about Brookie as a teenager. <laughs> Joe. Coming. She sure is something, isn't she? What a shame. She's Frankie's girl. Well, if you wasn't a part of you know what, we wouldn't care about her being Frankie's girl or anyone else. Who's Frankie? Who's asking? Detectives. <laughs> oh, you hear that? The big bad detective in sneezes wants to know what about Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Frankfurter, he's been chasing after sugar for months. <laughs> he's no good, but that's all I can tell you, because I don't want any trouble.